Hey guys, how you doing? So, this weekend I played the Diablo 4 open beta, and I thought I'd give you a report. You can see I got two characters to max level. Level 25 is max for this open beta. Uh, they currently have all five characters, so Barbarian, Necromancer, which I didn't play, Sorcerer I didn't play, Rogue I played, and Druid I didn't play. I've heard reports that all the classes are viable on normal, and uh, but I've heard that the Sork and the Necromancer are particularly strong. And then this is my melee rogue that I I played, and I'll show you. It doesn't take long to log in. I did have a 20-minute login queue on Friday at around three in the afternoon, but then over the weekend I had I had no. I had no trouble. Uh, the game runs well. That's that's part of my gear firing off there. You can see the melee rogue is is a. Uh, Quite maneuverable, and uh, I've at first I had a kind of uh, let's just say less than optimal build, <laughs> and then I uh, I went with this more powerful um, shadow imbue. There's a necro right there. See, I, I stick that shadow and view on him. My right click, and that's my backstab. I think it's an absolutely gorgeous looking game. I really like the visuals. It looks quite sharp. Runs well. Uh, I do get some lag in town. It's kind of weird. So you saw there was that other player. When you're on the surface... You... You share the surface with other players. But once you zone in... just... So once once you go into a dungeon, you're by yourself. So I think the visuals are excellent. Uh, to me, it's nine to ten on the visuals. Gorgeous. It mostly runs about 144 to 130 when I'm when I'm out here by myself. But it does uh, it does slow down dramatically in town. In town, there's lots of other players. Here, let me show you real quick. Oh, in town portal, you just hit T. And you TP back. Um, so there's no town portal scrolls anymore. And there's no healing potions that hit the ground. Your healing potions, if you look here, this is this is the health. You hit Q and you use one of your start off with four or four. And they're they're your low level tinies. And then you come over to who uh, uh, the alchemist. Alchemist upgrades your healing potions. I'll show you that real quick. You can see I'm getting some hitching, losing some frames here in town. It it's kind of like a an MMO experience, where in town you're. So you come over here. You've got the makings. I can. And you can see. Oh yeah. There we go. I just up upgraded my my healing potions. I forgot to do that. So. You can see. So I'm guessing level 90 or level 100 is your cap before you start getting Paragon levels. I don't. I don't know. I haven't researched that. So there's this new thing called elixirs, and you can see these are consumables. They cost a thousand gold. Uh, gold has not been. 
crazy difficult, but it has it has held me back a few times. Uh, see, this is interesting. 5% extra experience and 5% extra dodge for 30 minutes. Um, and so they all have that... The other lightning resistance, assault elixir. That's interesting. I've used I the elixirs use a little it. bit, but not a lot. And so here's the main town of Corvishad. This is Act 1. So you can see... Much, much, much larger game than this. This is the only area you have access to right now is Corvishad. Which, uh, Kjorvashad is the capital. Fractured Peaks is the region name. Uh, so, uh, let me show you the skill system. It's fine. It's a, I'm not going to call it simple, but it's not an overly complex system. These are your, your low level uh, abilities. I've been using puncture. You, you throw blades. Um, that could be interesting. And um, so you see, you have a note. So you have your basic skills. You have your core skills, and they're they're all called on on all the classes. This is called basic. This is called core. Um, then they have strength. This is agility because it's a rogue subterfuge. There, these nodes start to take on different names when you get to the other classes, but they all have the ultimate. And then this is these are the core passives that you get later. Uh, we don't we don't get enough levels to enough skill points to reach the, the core passives. And what I like is you can respect. Respec. Uh, oh, you can't respect this because it. Oh, I, I'd have to. Yeah. You can refund all. I'll show you. And you see, it doesn't cost a lot. Alright. So, you can see the rogue has. Uh, you have blue is ranged. And then brown is melee. And so, see, there's a melee shot. I mean, a, a range shot, range shot with the bow. Uh, I didn't play the archer. But I've seen more than a few archers. Um, there's passives and actives in here. The actives have a button. The passives look more like this. I wonder if that would be interesting. Hmm. And, uh... Gear works just like it does in every other Diablo game. And you can see I've got a shit ton of legendaries. The the gear drop has been... has been frequent and fun. Uh, I've, I've really enjoyed the gear. Um, I think it's a great gear system. I mean, that's what Diablo's no, known for. A really, really good gear system. Um, you now have an upgrade system. There's crafting in this one. And so you go around, you collect herbs, you collect uh, ore, metals. What will it be? And you can come in here and you can upgrade. Take this and put it right there. And you can take it up to level three. You can see the enhancements right there. Yeah. And then here's the the resources that would be required to upgrade that. And you can do it with the stuff too. Although I haven't bothered. I haven't gotten a piece of armor that I thought was just absolutely fantastic. Come back if you need work. But you can see how pretty it is. And see these are the other players. I haven't had any problem with griefing, no problem with people uh, messing with me or anything. Fair uh, trade. Here I'm, this is a armor vendor. I'm just selling my blues. I sell my blues, I break down stuff higher than that. Be wary on the road. And uh it's got the waypoint system that we're used to. 
Uh, I like the changes to the um, to the healing potion and the and the town portal. I think it's really cool. I like the respecking that uh, allows you to change your build on the fly with a very little cost. And um, it's just it's been a lot of fun. Um, I've got a a rend bleed barbarian with with the uh, with um, thorns to thorn bit thorns build, and this is a shadow imbue melee rogue build and you, you can see I mean look at look at the dust floating in the air here I mean I'm playing at 1440 I'm recording at 1080 but did somebody come through here that door opened by itself ha huh. yeah so you see see how the the healing potion hits the ground that's for your charges uh, and it's it's been pretty consistent uh, the game's pretty consistent, feeding you uh, more, more healing potions. Here we go. This is it. You can see the rogue is all about moving around, using your imbues. Oh, I missed that one. <laughs> I think the rogue is a lot of fun. I. To me, the melee rogue is more fun than the than the thorns barbarian, but the thorns barbarian is stronger. I hadn't died until Need more time. and so you use a potion, pick up a potion, that kind of thing. I I usually uh, let me see here. I'm gonna let my imbue timeout. Get my cooldown timer. You see, it takes me much longer. That was a waste of imbue. Did somebody shoot me over here? No? Yeah, guys, I mean, look at this. That's pretty. It's fun. It's just flat out fun, guys. It's if if you like Diablo, you'll love this game. I love this game. I'm gonna pre-order. I'm not ready yet. Yeah, I, I think this rogue's a lot of fun. He's died several times. Uh, I ran into a boss that was just the perfect counter to my rogue and kicked my ass. And whereas my thorns barbarian has never died. But I'll show you a little bit more content here. So whenever you imbue your blades... Boom! So you get two charges. See the little two right there? Now the one thing I don't like is the arsenal system. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Like, if I were to take this barrage and stick it on my bar... Let me show you. I'll show you real quick. When I go to use it, it just automatically pulls out... Oh. There we go. See how it automatically pulls out? Let me show you again. See? It... See how those, how those blades come back to me? So what the arsenal system does is your... Okay, wait a minute. Okay, so you see how I have my ranged weapon equipped, and then I've got my dual wield weapons over here. If you use a melee ability, these weapons come out. If you use a ranged ability, this comes out, okay? On the Barbarian, it's really annoying, because if you get a good two-hander, and you're using dual wield skills, you'll never see your two-hander. And there's a two-handed blunt build. And that's... And with that... I'm like, you know, I on my barbarian, I never used any of the 
of the um, two-handed crushing abilities. So I never saw my my two-handed hammer that I was running around carrying. Now you do get the buffs from it. Uh, I really don't. Ooh, I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing here. But you can see this 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 rogue is really effective and really cool. Um, it's just. He's squishier than the Barbarian, so you have to be aware of that. You have to... Oh, everybody gets this evade. Let me show you that real quick. Plus, I roll through. Ah. ah! Yeah, I should have... I should have evaded out of that. Come on! Got a colossal serpent right here. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. So, use my ultimate. Yeah, he's really effective. Really enjoyed the rogue. And so you can see... Let me show you some of the gear here. And... So it's got this new vulnerability system. Where you become vulnerable, or the mods become vulnerable, and then you take more damage, and other effect, status effect, crit chances, all that stuff comes into play. But, um, yeah. So, that's Diablo 4. I really, really like this. I'm close to love this. I'm going to pre-order. I'm going to play this game. It's excellent. comes out June 6th. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.